What's up, guys? Welcome back to another EVE Online video. We're going to be talking and kind of covering the multiple overview feature that came out a few days ago. Now, for this feature, you're going to have, have both the Photon UI enabled, and then you have to turn on the multiple overviews. But I'll kind of just kind of go over kind of where things have kind of moved around to and, you know, some possible uses and uh, benefits to uh, to this and everything. So I'm using my normal overview that I did in a few a few videos ago. So what you can do is actually when you right click on any one of your old tabs, you can actually go to move to into a new window or you can move it to an existing window. And so like right now I've just got like I've, I already was talking about earlier in a video that I was planning on just moving the PVP tab out by itself so that it's always visible, which is um, probably going to hang out somewhere in this vicinity if I end up like using this and then uh, obviously you can like, see all your like so if I'm ratting I can see all of my um, targets here and I can still kind of have access to my warp 2 tab or uh, mining tab and this is actually really cool too because you can actually just take like let's say you're mining because like in the past I've had like my mining tab also it doesn't show rats um, and so if I really want to quickly see if there's been like rats spawned on grid I'd have to like you know, set up my mining targets, and then I'd have to, you know, switch back to the PvP tab. But now I can just kind of keep the mining tab open if I'm doing ice or anything like that. And then this is always going to populate with what's going on. And also, like, I have a loot tab here, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how to move a tab to one of the other overviews, and then, you know, we'll split up another one as well, so you can kind of just see how everything works so this loot tab i'm going to move into this pvp tab so if i right click on the tab itself and go to move to i'm going to go to move to pvp tab and so now it's located here with this one and then just to demonstrate let's take this um warp tab here we'll go to move to new window and as you can see here it's now going to be in its own little window which you can even put this over here where you know, you would normally have like bookmarks or um, something like that. And so we'll just go and lock that over there. So we have all of our warp twos over there. The only thing, I mean, I think that the photon UI is okay. I just think that, you know, some of this stuff could be a little bit, I mean, I guess it's a lot of, guess the, the margins and like the padding on a lot of it is still a little too much, I think. Um, like this drone window is going to end up having to, to change. But what this allows you to do, since we're not completely reliant on this tab over here for everything, this could end up being super small, right? You know, if this is only being used for basically um, sites and mining, I could make this uh, about that small or so. And then obviously you have your bracket visibility um, stuff here. And so like, you know, this is drone window might end up becoming a little bit bigger because this window is probably going to end up becoming pretty high because I do like having all my uh, I like to have a lot of visible in my PvP window uh, usually so as you can see here now <clears throat> with the way I have this set up now I've got you know stuff kind of split up for the most part you know I've got warp 2 stuff here and then you know you can also I mean I, you're not always trying to access like a loot tab or anything like that with like Rex and everything like that it's like you know somebody kind of check here and there but like separating all that since I do a lot of ratting I think having this here pretty neat and I can kind of keep this and drag this around without really disrupting anything too crazy but uh, we'll go and lock that in place again but I, I don't think I'm gonna do this warp 2 I think we'll keep the warp 2 over there um, where it was originally they also moved the column because like before like if you go here and go to open overview settings there used to be a column setting in here but now it's on in each independent window so you have to go to this menu here um, or actually you have to go to the tab rather sorry so if you go to the tab here then you go to column it makes it a little bit easier to change the columns and I'm usually just doing a distance type um, so we'll go to like I got basically reset all of it how I had it so we'll go ahead and move and change all the columns back over to what they were and then also these the when you go to this little menu button here and go to open overview settings this is when you go to like the filters, it's only going to be for the active tab. That is, um, it's like you normally you could have just like you know 
go to site and then edit that or go to mining and edit that. Um, but now I have to actually go down this drop down menu. So I'm going to go to site. I'm going to save it. And I think this is actually a little bit easier actually to work because you can kind of work all within this one little window and everything. And you can access that overview menu from either of these overviews that are up. You need to make sure that you're editing the right um, filter column here, which I'll probably um I'll probably actually run through and kind of see how I like you know this setup. I know I'm going to like the uh, PVP thing being separate here, so I'm really hoping that I can find some other cool and interesting ways uh, to do things because I'm not always mining either, and also um, I moved like uh, the nodes in data relic sites over to this PVP tab, so they show up there. So this site tab actually for me might end up just going away completely. But since we have the ability to have multiple overviews now, um, you could really kind of like drill down on what you actually want to see any any given time. Um, for what I do, like ratting, PVP tab is important. And then having this warp tab here um, helps with like travel, right? And uh, so I'd probably like be keeping this up all the time and uh, and things like that. But I mean, I still use bookmarks. I mean, I'm just so used to using bookmarks now and everything. I haven't really gotten to look too much. All this kind of looks the same. The drop down menu for the filters is new, which I like. All this looks about the same. Import export was just moved down here. And all the appearance stuff appears to be the same as well. So <clears throat> let me know in the video if you guys like are kind of messing around with this a little bit and uh, how you've. Uh, how you can kind of see yourself using the multiple overview. I remember like a year ago or so, I you know made the suggestion to somebody in my corp. I was like, man, why can't we just have multiple overviews? It'd be just so awesome. And now we have it. And like, just for instance, like right now, like if I was mining, I'd be on this mining tab. And now I just always had this PVP tab up all the time. What's crazy is like, normally I don't like getting in the way of my like inventory and my drones. But if I'm out there running a rat site, like my target's going to come to about here. If I'm running a rat side, I could make this thing like long as heck and be able to just see it a lot easier too. You could even do, you could even go get really into the weeds on it and you could actually like have um, a tab for every ship class, right? You could you know, show all like battleships on one tab and show all like frigates on one tab, but I think that might be going a little overboard with that kind of a situation. But <clears throat> yep, that's kind of how uh, I plan on doing things. But let me know in the comments what you guys, you know, can kind of see the potential being. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.